All right, what is going on, everyone? I want to get this particular moment on camera. Um, I'm sweating. I'm feeling overwhelmed. I'm feeling anxious. I'm feeling hungry. And the overarching feeling that I'm going through at the moment is And I can't even think of it because my brain's not working properly because I haven't eaten anything today. It's one o'clock in the afternoon. The overarching feeling for me at the moment, agitation. Agitation at the little things. And that's what they call hangry. That is literally, I'm going through my hangry stage at the moment, today. Um, I've just got back from my lunch break. I had a good lunch break. I went home. My kids are still on uh, school holidays. So I uh, had a little bit of a, a play with them, which was good. Didn't eat anything. I brought some food back with me. Um, which is right here That was actually in the freezer already, which is potato salad and green goddess salad. I'm not gonna have that. This is some um, Spaghetti bolognese and some beans and this is one of my chickpea mixes with some hummus and some beans Now all of that is all well and good um, But I just received our, our Woolworths order and Woolworths here in Australia is one of the big two uh, supermarkets and one thing I've been missing out on whilst the boss has been away is some food in the office some free food and some free uh, soft drinks and um, snacks and that type of thing so uh, the order is in I've just put it away and it just uh, you know looking at all that food being really hungry myself uh, not really knowing where to put stuff and you know being OCD and wanting it to look perfect uh, it's really, it's overwhelmed me, but now that everything's put away and I can actually breathe, I'll show you guys what I'm going to be able to indulge in over the next few days at least, while still remaining under my calories per day of course, um, but we've got some, some fairly decent things, so let me show you. Now none of that of course, lollies, chips, all the rest of it has to be done. Uh, first, we have tins of sardines, which I've never tried before in my entire life, so I'm looking forward to that, and tins of tuna. The fridge is absolutely packed. Uh, we've got some sugar-free Sprite and some sugar-free Pepsi Max. Those two are going to be absolutely fantastic with my lunches. We've got fruit galore which was my suggestion. Plums, nectarines, lemons, and bananas. We've got yogurts for days. Some of these Chobani Fits, which was also a suggestion of mine. Um, so that's, I mean, that's just saving me money. That's just a real benefit. We've got literally four types of yogurt. Well, that one's custard. Some uh, poppers, and some milk, and bread, salmon. I mean, I don't, I don't know if she, I don't know what type of bloody platter she's planning on making, but we've got blue cheese, we've got triple cream camembert, we've got pa parmigiano, some smoked salmon, like I said, we've got crackers, I mean, what else have we got? A couple things in there. I've got my first can of Sprite, cooling down. So, I mean, I haven't really taken in fully what we've just got, but there's a hell of a lot of selections there. And what I'm going to be able to do is just have a little bit of everything, you know what I mean? Just, just, just snack on little things, because at the end of the day, you can always include things in your diet. It's just about portion control. So that's going to be tested. My portion control discipline is going to be tested over the next few days. But uh, yeah, really happy with that. Um, the, the meals that I brought to work all of a sudden don't actually seem that appetizing, but I am going to have one. I'm going to have my chickpea. Chickpea, kidney beans, onions, egg, bacon, hummus, and beans. So I'm going to have that. It's about 500 calories. Uh, and if I'm still hungry, I'll have, I'll have a, a, a yogurt, a piece of fruit, and my soda. So I've got very limited time after work 
to try and get a workout in. Uh, I was planning, I, I brought all my workout gear to work. Uh, I was planning on getting a, a fairly decent weight session in, but I've got to get home by 5.30. I leave here at 4.30. Actually, I've got to get home by 5.15. So it's going to be a push, but I'm just going to focus on chest. And first and foremost, I'm going to focus on the bench press, the Smith machine bench press. My back is still killing me. I'm trying to consciously stand up as much as I can today rather than sit down and it seems to be working a little bit um, but I guess we'll just monitor that so I'm feeling a little less overwhelmed I'm feeling extremely hungry I'm gonna sit down with a meal and go through my calories from yesterday exactly what I ate when and uh, how I see the remainder of this day going right guys the sense of relief that I have right now to just have a meal in front of me and know that I'm going to eat, I've finally got the opportunity to eat, uh, is just indescribable. It is immense, the feeling of relief. I was feeling completely overwhelmed and it's only because I'm just, I'm just pushing myself way too hard, man. I'm pushing myself way too hard to get fucking, to get this condition that I don't, I don't really know if it's going to improve my life. And that's why we're doing this. We're doing it to be accountable, but also get in really good condition to, at the end of the day, improve my life, improve the way that I feel about myself. Um, I'm sure I'll feel better in half an hour after I've eaten, but for now, I'm going to crack into this. We've got one yogurt. We've got a, a, a nectarine. And just before I do, so I can really relax. I'll go through my calories for yesterday. I did go over somewhat, but I had to do a night shift from 9.30 till 1.30 in the morning. So I only got about five hours sleep last night, if that. Um, and my calories were sitting at 2,095. Oh, sorry, 2,173. Made up of 140 grams of protein, which is probably the most I've had on a particular day so far. 172 grams of carbs and 102 grams of fat. And my meals were... See, even just using this app right now is just pissing me off. I just want to eat so bad. Oh, fuck me dead. Right, so I had uh, a plum, one of those yogurts. I had my cordial, I had my coffee. I had a tuna, avocado, and cherry tomato salad. I had a low sugar honeycomb whip bar, which I've also had today. Uh, I had some, uh, one of these chickpea mixes, and that took me all the way to dinner, and then we had some corned beef, mashed potato, corn, and broccoli, with some mustard, and I finished the night off whilst I was doing my night shift with a coconut bliss bar, uh, which is 184 calories. So I actually had quite a bit of food. Um, I had about you know four different meals plus a couple of snacks. And as fucked up as this sounds, I felt like I felt like I let myself down because I'd gone over 2,000 calories. I need that amount of food. It's dumb. It's stupid for me to feel like that. But the mindset that I'm in at the moment, I, I just it's just it's extreme. It really is. Um, and as far as calories burnt yesterday, we consumed 2,100 and something, and we burnt 2,949, including 581 through activity. So, you know, almost 1,000 calories in deficit. Uh, I've got to say I'm proud of that. That is the plan to continue to be in a deficit for 1,000 calories. There's an alarm in this building that goes off every single day for some reason. Let me, let me sort that out. Okay, there we go. Alright. I can relax. You know, I think half the reason why I was feeling just so overwhelmed and so agitated is because I had to control it when I was at home around my kids. And I got back here and I just, I desperately wanted to make this video because making videos is really important to me. And, uh, and, and I had to put away the groceries and, and, and look, 
it's all first world problems, I get that. But I'm just trying to be as real and open and honest as possible. It's day 10 of some drastic dieting. Any adjustment to like lower carbohydrates, um, I'm still going through. If I had have gone like full keto and taken out all of my carbohydrates, I probably would have you know, been switching over into ketosis by now. I'm not gonna be in ketosis because I am having 150 odd grams of carbs a day, uh, which means that I'm not gonna have those benefits of, of using fat predominantly for fuel, mentally. Um, I'm just gonna have to be pushing through days where I don't have a huge amount of carbs. Uh, but I am training in the gym as well, so I do need carbohydrates. I wouldn't want to go keto fully. I don't think that's practical. Um, and I don't think that's necessary. I think to sit below a certain amount of calories overall is, is what's necessary. Either way, guys, I reckon that's going to be enough for today's video. I'm going to eat this. I'll be sitting at about seven or 800 calories for the day. I've got 40 minutes of time that I can get a workout in after work. I'm going to go and train some chest, like I said. Um, I'll probably have to cut it at 35 minutes, to be honest. So bench press all the way. Maybe finish with some push-ups. Um, no shoulders, no tries. I trained arms yesterday. I feel good about that. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. You get, you get these days. You get, you get days like this. You just got to push through. I'm feeling a hell of a lot better now that I've got that video over with. I've got food in front of me and the phone hasn't rung that much this morning. It's been a blessing. I take all of my blessings wherever I can get them from and I've got a few. I've got a fair few, including every single one of you guys who sacrifices their time and energy in watching me talk shit. Alright guys, it's been a pleasure. I'll see you on day 11.